Got TV. Yes, the IPL continues as do John I. Hello John. Hello Jim, hello everybody. Right, two more games to talk about this afternoon, one in a bit more depth. And uh, JP, a couple of games that uh, were probably quite close. They were quite close and I think we can probably say they were both upsets as well because the uh, Bangalore Royal Challengers have been beaten by the Deccan Chargers. That was yesterday's game and uh, the game that was a mega upset. The bottom side, Kings Eleven Punjab, have beaten the leaders, Mumbai Indians, by six wickets. Well, there's one for the books. So, let's have a look in a bit more detail then. Mum uh, Mumbai Indians and Kings Eleven Punjab, as you say, but an upset, well, a big upset. Yeah, a big upset. No one really expected them to go in and actually win. And they actually performed very, very well. I mean, last time we were here talking about the way they performed, they were very, very ordering against the Rajasthan Royals, I seem to remember. Their fielding was some sort of playground standard, I remember saying, uh, saying earlier on. But they really did up their performance. Mumbai Indians battered first. They made 154 for nine. They couldn't really get any partnerships put together. The uh, Kings and Punjab bowled and fielded superbly. Three wickets for Irfan Patan, three for Peewish Chowler, and a couple for Love Ablash as well. They really did bowl exceptionally well. In reply, then, the Kings and Punjab chasing 155 to win. They actually played really well. They just played really well all round, I suppose you could say. Sankakara made his highest IPL score. Good time to do it. He made 56, and a good contribution from Edrin Barat and Mahela Javadna at the top of the order. So, Kings Evan Punjab, a welcome win, and um, Mumbai Indians not yet into the semi-finals. That's right, and it is still mathematically possible for the Kings Eleven to qualify somehow, so I probably got that one wrong in our last uh, video, but uh, they can still do it, but it's not very likely. They need every single result to go the way, and obviously they need to win every single game. OK, we're well, talking about winning every game along the way. Um, we've got Deccan Chargers against the Bangalore Royal Challengers, and uh, this was a slightly more higher scoring game. Um, yeah, not lots a, of runs. not a game for the bowlers, this one. Deccan Chargers, Ellen Gilchrist came out before this game, says basically we've got to win every single game from here to put ourselves in with a chance of retaining our title. This game, of course, the repeat of last year's final, and it was all about the batsmen. There were half centuries for the Bangalore Royal Challengers, and for Jacques Callis and Virat Kohli, both of those played superbly well to get them up to 100. And 84 for 6 wasn't enough, however. Unbeaten half centuries from Andrew Simons and Turul Asseti Suman. He played wonderfully for his 78 not out, and they got home closing on 186 for 3, so it uh, rather throws the whole competition wide open again. Fantastic, I know, with uh, getting down to the wire, uh, 9 to win, Andrew Simons 6-6, six, six, thanks very much, or 6-4 in fact, six, wasn't game over. Game over, uh, 4 balls to spare, so absolutely no worries there. OK, well that's 2 more down out of the 59 60 games that there are in the IPL 2010. More games to come, of course, otherwise um, that would be the end of it, but it isn't. Yeah, no, we're not quite well, we're what's coming up just yet. This weekend we've got two more games on Saturday, we've got two more games on Sunday. The De Deccan Chargers, that's right, they take on the Chennai Super Kings on Saturday. Then we've got the Royal Challengers Bangalore back in action against the Kolkata Knight Riders. Don't rule them out for a late semi final push. The Delhi Daredevils, they've been going pretty well recently. They take on the Kings 11 Punjab on Sunday. Well, that's the first match in a double header. And then we've got the Rajasthan Royals take on the Mumbai Indians. Now we're looking to avenge that last defeat, I'm sure. So, OK, well, yeah, IPL continues, as does Cricket World. And uh, you can see more on cricketworld.com. But for now, that's it from us, and we look forward to seeing you again.